Dai, dai, da da ya gai. Osio a kere nyaga. Ego to sokel ya o do irevitu. Nama gongo nama itu. Siari Usio akere nyaga, nego tu sokel ya odo irevitu, na magogo na maitu. Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to By Africans for Africa TV. Guys, we know as as Africans, colonization messed up, so really messed us in matters of spirituality languages our it messed even the skills that we knew it also messed the most important bit of africa ubuntu the togetherness which emanated from being the families being together and being one community we have one problem our relationship with our kin we don't even know our ancestors Guys, today I want to take you along with me as I go out and look for my ancestors. You know what the ancestors are? They are people who lived before us, our kin who lived before us. And now they have gone to be with our creator, our ancestors. We don't know much about them, especially because we were told that we came from Congo as Bantus, which was a lie. Sometimes back someone said we came from South Africa, which is actually in the north of Africa. Is it true? I don't know. But what I want to know is what is really affecting me. I want to know all my people, who they were, where they came from. I bet you will be amazed as I am. And if this video touches you, may you do the same. Go looking for your people. And on top of that, we have been having a problem of as young parents pushing our kids or our parents pushing us to do something, some careers, to undertake careers which we are not meant to do. Traditionally in our African heritage, every family was blessed with certain skills, certain skills in which the family and only that family would be doing. They were doctors or medicine people. There were metal blacksmiths, they were farmers. They are wood makers. What was your family doing? What was my family doing? In this video, I'm also going to be asking that. So, come with me. It will be a process. And if you like it, if it inspires you, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, it's time we go back to our roots. Also, you have seen, or we have seen, several people of, uh, of several of our brothers and sisters teaching their kids foreign languages if you are one of them you are making a mistake you are taking something very important away from that child that child needs to connect with their grandparents who may not be knowing the language very well if there are skills that they need to pass they can only pass when they understand each other a hundred percent so teach a child your local language, your mother tongue is very important. That's the tongue that they used to talk to their ancestors and God. So come with me and don't get tired. Watch this video to the end. And don't forget to like it and subscribe. Also, leave a comment. If you want to be part of this video, come and join us. And before I forget, on the matters of spirituality, nowadays we are Christians, we are Muslims, but 
that's a religion. Go back to your spirituality. You need to know what God gave you. There's some strength in you. There's some power in you that you need to start using in thinking and in doing your other things. So, follow me. Morungu ni adhaidhido ni adhuri na jama ya agekuyu Hoya ima, thaitha ima, ni amunga ina uria watene Hoya ima, thaitha ima, ni amunga ina uria watene Anda boleh pergi. Refreshing, is it? So, I asked my parents this question. Who came before us? And they gave me a list, a whole lot of our ancestors who came before us and where they came from. But they also advised me to go looking for more. I won't be showing my parents in this video. They are not ready for YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but the most important bit is the journey so my parents gave me a list of my great grandfather my grandfather my great 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 grandfather my grandfather my great my great 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 grandfather my great great grandfather my great grandfather my father and now us and they are women and where they came from and all that but they told me I need to go in to my elder dad you know in Africa your father's brother is your dad now if you if he's younger that's your young, younger dad if he's el, older than your dad that's your elder dad so I'm, I have to go to my elder dad who's also our ancestor he he passed away sometimes back but my father tells me that they tried to collect all those bits of history of our family they had the same idea or will that I'm having and they tried to look for the history my elder dad who may he rest in peace with our ancestors was the one I was named after so I can see it as a, a way of I'm um, continuing this journey that he started with my father. So I think they, they already did some history, uh, research and they wrote some history down. 
So I'm going to his home, I'm looking for his family, so that I can see whether I can get that. But before that, we are going to where it all started. So we are going to the river. The reason we are going to the river, I'm going to tell you when we get to the river. But before then, enjoy the view. Yeah, this one hasn't been filled with water yet because we haven't gotten to the river. This is a well. This is, these are one of the places that God provided us with water and we've always taken water from these wells. We get our minerals from this and also our animals are fed from this. This is a journey that I'm willing to take and I'm going to do all my research and going to take you through that so that you can also be motivated kindly on our journey please continue subscribing liking and sharing so that more people can be motivated to look for their ancestral lineage and also their ancestral skills so let's go Okay, nyo the adovoroli, o inyo si ana si akira di mo, tega ima to ne mo koigua, namuroli ama ito kere nyaga, tora uka da itore hamwe, da ida ida da ya kai, ne gua wato ito niti daniyo, nare amatora gavoroli yo. Now we go, guys. What I'm looking for is my ancestral lineage and you, there you are with me. So continue watching, it's a journey. Make sure you take your path and make sure you follow your journey. So guys, when we talk about Kikuyu spirituality, we pray facing Mount Kenya. That's what we do. That's what our ancestors do. And as I follow my lineage, I am doing, I have to do what my ancestors used to do. So, you lift your arms as a man, you put your hands like this as a woman. Then you face the mountain and you pray. Dai da the young guy die, die da the young guy die, die da the young guy die. That is how you pray as a Gikoyo man. But as a woman, you do this. Why we do this is we are asking God for blessings. Why we men do this? They are the builders of the home. They hold the biggest sacrifice in the home. The biggest altar is in the house of a woman. And they are the people who receive the blessings once their husband receives them. So women receive blessings. So guys, we continue with our journey.
So we start from the river, River Ragati. In this river, this is the river that have been quenching our ancestors for centuries. This is where they obtain their water, water for drinking, for cooking, and for their animals, using a board like this one. So, in South Africa, we have the Zulu spirituality, in which they say, if you want to tell, to, if you want your prayers to go for a very long time, without being forgotten, tell it to the water. And in Kikuyu we say, Rowe ne Rowe, meaning the river knows. So if you want to get any knowledge, you start from the river, because the river knows. So we get water for, for our journey, then we continue on our journey. Um. Mm-hmm. 
journey continues we actually i went to my elder father and found his wife and a lot of history ensued about our family and i'm surprised that my great 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 grandfather was actually a kamba <laughs> so guys that's why it's very important to know your lineage because no matter where you maybe where you go you find yourself with people and you are wondering why am i with these people so we are the same blood so actually guys my great 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 grandfather came from cumberland with his brothers and they came and settled here they came as boys and when they came as boys they were born into a kikuyu family so they were given a a clan so which is my family i know i have a lineage to cut the kamba people because they came during some drought and how so guys wherever you are do not despise any other person or tribe we are the same people so we continue with our journey i have gotten a lot of information and i'm glad i know i now know who you are who i am yeah. the only thing that i don't know is the skills now you Continue watching this video so that you can know what skills are meant for me. Okay? Okay, so we continue with our journey. So guys, we talked about the skill. I'm here to find our ancestral skill. Like or oh, what our forefathers, my line, used to do. The only thing that I got is when they came here as young boys, they used to to raise cows and in, in return they were paid goats and cows but this that skill like the medicine or like I've grown watching my mom boiling uh, herbs for medicine and they work and I've seen my dad making things out of nowhere like very beautiful skilled things eh? but I don't know is it is which is our skill so I'm going to ask my dad if he knows anything about our skill. If not that, my grandfather had a sister who is still well. Thanks be to God. And um, I might find her so that she can answer the question. So, she is my grandmother. She may know what they used to do then. I don't know. But I'm hoping and please, please, please pray for me so that I get to know that skill. And also, if I don't get the skill, I could go to a seer, a kikuyu seer or shaman. And because he, that one is a link, direct link to our ancestors, he can tell me. But I'm doing the right, the long way so that when I get there, I will not be surprised to find something I was not expecting. But for now, come with me.